Make sure you are very familiar with this word problem. It is a distance rate time problem. So notice I've set up a table with distance equal to rate times time. Notice we've got trains leaving in opposite directions. So we've got one going one way and the other going the opposite way. Notice what we're given. We're given 50 and 64. Those are in miles per hour, so those are rates. One train is traveling at 50 miles per hour. I'll put it under R for rate. The other, 64 miles per hour. Now, what are we looking for in this application? We're looking for how long it will take before they are 285 miles apart. So we are looking for a time. If I let X be this train's time, they are traveling the same amount of time, so the other train would be X also. Now let's use the formula distance equals rate times time, and let's fill in the distance column rate times time here would be 50x, and that is a distance for the one train. Rate times time would be 64x, that is a distance for the other train. Is there anything in the problem we have not used yet? The answer is yes. We haven't used the fact that we want a total distance of 285 miles. That's how we translate to an equation. This distance 50x plus the other train's distance, 64x, should equal the total distance, 285, standing for the 285 miles. I'll let you solve this equation for x, but if you do so, you'll have that x is equal to 2 and 1 half. That is time, so that's 2 and a half hours, and that is how long it takes. How can you check? See at this rate how far a train travels in two and a half hours, rate times time. See at this rate how long the, how far the other train travels, rate times time. Add the two distances, make sure it's 285.